black history. Um, that's what brings us here today. The importance of hip hop on black history specifically as a black man and just the impact on culture today. What can you speak about that? Well, I mean, you know, it's easy for me to be a black man because I'm a black man. <laughs> and I like being a black man. And I enjoy it, and I enjoy embracing every other man that appreciates their culture, and as long as everything is respectful, and honest, and integrity, and we are working together to make this planet better, that is the key. The key is that we have to work collectively to make this world a better place. No individual group can do it alone. It's like the food. Y'all sat there and ate. You had the macaroni and cheese. Some of y'all like that macaroni and cheese. Some may like the salad. Yeah, the salad is nice. I like the salad. Then some like the catfish. Right? And some may say, nah, I want some chicken. But check this out. All of it collectively is what you really enjoy. None of it is an individual thing. All of these things in life work collectively. So no one group can make this world better alone. This company, as Mr. Lee said, can only work when everybody works together. You understand? It's just the truth. How can anybody do everything alone? No thing in life works alone. It's a collective effort of everything. But the key is to have love and respect for each individual thing. When you lose the love and respect for that individual thing, it changes the vibration. And when it changes the vibration, you have the tension. You don't have that unity. You don't have that love. You don't have that passion. You have negative energy that's, that's counteractive to the, to the success of the whole thing. See, so when I make music, I make music for the world. I don't make music for one individual. I make music for the world because I want everybody to know that we collectively have to have fun, celebrate, enjoy life. You have a family, I have a family. You know, you have children, I have children. We all want the same things out of life. We just want a good life. And we want to make this world a better place. And the only way to do that is we have to work together but we have to do it with love and respect. We have to. Just a couple more questions before I let you go. Hip hop. Am I, am I getting too deep? Oh, Did no, I get no, no. too deep? This is perfect. It I mean, I know it's the afternoon. Y'all didn't come. I mean, I don't know how deep to go here. You know what I mean? Because I know y'all don't want to party. So, you know, I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> You know what I mean? You gotta talk to me. Okay, no, so no, but see, I think the importance of today's discussion is the history and the culture of music. And really, you're, you're defining what I think many times is the bad rap. You know, no pun intended, that rap gets which is negativity and some of the, the negative, um, you know, I tell people it's like movies. If you just had all negative movies, you wouldn't have a display of all the talent. But hip hop has many different layers, many different types of songs and, and styles, and I think you represent that. Before we go. Well, well let me say that to you, see, there's movies that come out that I don't like. Anybody seen a movie that they don't like? Anybody, in here, you seen a movie, you were sitting there, you paid your money, and you going, this movie is garbage. <laughs> Have you ever been there? Have you ever had any food that you didn't like? Anybody, anybody. Some of y'all may be like, well, I don't know if I like what's here today. <laughs> Hawkins, no, we love your food, Hawkins. Right, 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 right. Well, you know, I mean, but people, people got feelings, right? 
So preference. the point, right? The point is, is that there's nothing that you're gonna like everything about. There will be songs that you like, and there'll be songs that you don't like. There's some rap songs that I hear, I think are terrible, <laughs> and I rap. <laughs> You know what I mean? I hear some songs that I like that, that are great. One of my favorite singers is Andre Pacelli. I don't know if anybody's up on that. <laughs> but you need to get up on that. You understand? I mean, I, I, I love so many people. You know, Garth Brooks, I like him. I like his stuff. You see, so I just think that there's no music, there's no food, there's no style, there's no anything that you like everything about. There's sometimes a movie will come out and you don't like it. I don't even like all my families, I know what you mean. You understand? You see what I mean? Only one thing I like all the time and that's Taste the Soul. Hey! Come in this October. But that's me, but that's me though, that's me. <laughs> we bring a lead this time, right? That's right. That's right. But look, before we go, I think it is fitting that we definitely want you to give us a little taste. But I do want to talk about your style because the importance of style on hip hop. There was a dance resurrected called Teach Me How to Dougie. I know everybody probably heard that in the last few years, became probably one of the biggest records. But based off this man's name, his style, his persona, why don't you show him? Because if I try, I might not do it right. Can, can you hit us with a little something? Well, right? you know, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they want to get it on. <laughs> but look, before, how about this? Teach us how to Dougie beatbox all of it. Before you go, you got to show us So, How about you give us some right now? Well, well let, me, let me first say this here. First, let me ask you this. I mean, you know, it's kind of like, what time is it now? I don't know if the watch is right. It's about I know I ain't got that much time. You know, things is tight around here. You know, things run tight around here. So, I don't know. Y'all want to get into something real quick? This Let's to get do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me get out your way. It's time for Mr. Dunn. Well, look, so we, let, me, let me say it like this first. You know, some of y'all here have came in here with an idea about hip-hop. And some of y'all came, probably, I don't know, but some of y'all might have said in your mind, Ah, that hip hop stuff. Ah. You know, you you got a certain idea about it. I have different ways of approaching hip hop, and I do it in a lot of different styles. You know, because I created so many different styles that I have many different styles of the way to do it. But the one thing that I think is important, and especially as I look around here, because there's so many beautiful people, man, from all over, and it's really nice to see you all together like this. You know, and it seems like the vibe is really nice in here. But I just, I just want to ask you a question that, do you believe that all of us together working collectively is the key to the success of this planet? How many of y'all agree with that? I mean, really, you know what I mean? And I say the planet because I think from a global perspective, I don't think it's just here in the U.S., you know, I think from a global perspective. But the other thing is that, how many of y'all, I mean, I know you're here to work and you're in your mind and you're thinking a lot and stuff like that, but how many of y'all still know how to have fun? Do anybody here still know how to have fun? I see you like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. See, so it's hard for an entertainer, and entertainers won't tell you this, it's hard for an entertainer to take you out of your mind to put you into the space of fun, especially when you 